is up again. I promised myself coffee. There is an enormous sea vessel and there is a ferry. I will make a call. Weer één alleen voor de lady die ze op. <laughs> ja, dat is geen pontje hè. Ik kom net uit het zijkanaal C en ik wil even weten of ik gerust kon opensteken. Ja, maar dat is geen probleem. Dank je. Ik zal je laten zien hoe ik het doe. Alrighty. Goeie wacht. Ja, dankjewel hè. Goeie reis. Funny. Okay, here's the ferry, and because I uh, I arrive on this canal, I thought, okay, let's communicate with the ferry and see if it's uh, if I, I am allowed to pass. He is a typical Amsterdam ferry driver, so he made some jokes, well, funny remarks. So, a new episode in this journey. I left the small canals and now we are on the North Sea Canal between Amsterdam and IJmuiden, which is a city on the shore of uh, the Netherlands with a huge lock and um, every ship that goes to the Amsterdam uh, uh, port has to go through the lock over there and then uses the North Sea Canal to visit one of the ports or visit Amsterdam, depending on what kind of boat you have. So there are some, uh, some rules over here one has to obey, everywhere but here also. I will switch on the VHF a little bit louder, we are on channel 3 right now. And you saw me communicating with the ferry operator on my portable VHF. And if you have seen other videos already, then you know that I use my portable VHF for channel 10 for ship-ship communication. It has not a, a strong um, uh, amplifier, so you can use it, uh, let's say, within 800 meters uh, for sure, but not to, to call uh, port uh, uh, control at the moment. Then you use the uh, VHF because I have uh, uh, two antennas on top of the mast for a better reach and a better amplifier also. So, ship ship communication on channel 10 will do, we'll do on the portable uh, VHF. Well, I, I will uh, call uh, port control. How many is it? Yeah, very good morning. Net uit het Zijkanaal C gekomen. Eindbestemming is oranje sluizen en die blijft uh, stembaar. Ja, dat is uh, onze Oké, okay, nou, besides the fact that they see me on radar, they see me on AIS, they also know my destination for at least the next coming hour, the locks in Amsterdam, orange locks, oranje sluizen. The Amsterdam port is huge, for sure, but it is uh, not allowed for me as recreational sailor to go into these ports and have a look so that you as viewer can have nice footage to view. So in this video I will introduce a new handheld camera system. Um, let's see how it works out.
manually in this area around the central station of Amsterdam and there's a large sign a big sign saying keep the starboard side so I will do that of course on the port side you see one of the famous towers in the Amsterdam skyline it used to be headquarters of Shell the oil company it was based in Amsterdam for many many years and then they left I think for London or something like that and one of my acquaintances he is a uh, project developer and he redeveloped that building again meters uh, a river queen vessel passenger vessel is uh, leaving the quay and is going east <laughs> station to the north of Amsterdam it is always very very busy but I am lucky because they just entered Amsterdam and the other side is still docking on the north side
Okay, here we are at the Amsterdam Oranje Sluizen, Orange Locks. And that brings me to the end of this video. We started the video entering the North Sea Canal and I promised you to show you the Amsterdam port as far as was possible for me as recreational uh, boater. And the orange locks, the Oranje Sluizen, are the last uh, barrier before I can enter the IJsselmeer, the freshwater lake. And I think, well, let's end the video and start another one the moment that I go through the locks and to the IJsselmeer. And this is a very logical moment to end. I will add another end plate for the video watch the video that I suggest to you and please give me a thumbs up so that the guys from YouTube know that you like my video content. Thank you very much.